unlock your magic, the keys to discovering your personal soul code. One of my fondest memories of my grandparents is playing cards with them at their kitchen table. That's where I learned the names and the symbols of the four suits of a deck of cards. So we've got the hearts and the clubs and of course the diamonds and the spades. Back then, I had no idea that I was playing with an ancient system that combined symbology, numerology, and astrology to help unlock your soul's secret code roadmap based on your birthday. It wasn't until my life began to unravel in 2020 that I began to understand that a deck of cards was so much more than fun and games and magic tricks. In fact, the true magic of the card science system was revealed to me during my first reading with Order of the Magi certified card reader, Vicki Fisk. Through her decoding of my life map with the use of the card system, she was able to unlock doors that I had kept closed. That reading changed my life. After the reading, I began to study the card science system of the Magi, and I was transported back to my childhood, to my love of playing with the cards. I could remember the sound and the feel of shuffling the deck of cards arched high in a rainbow. And then I realized that I had always had this crazy superpower <laughs> to remember people's birthdays. And this is before Facebook took over my self-appointed job. So when I put my love of the cards together with my ability to recall people's birthdays, a new door was unlocked for me. Little by little, pieces of me that were lost somewhere between my grandparents' kitchen table and the solitary table at which I sat in my post-divorce mayhem, they were, they were being strung back together through this ancient system of the cards. My life was my curriculum as I became a certified reader of the card science system. And the cards, they navigated me back on track. They pulled me back on track to my personal soul code roadmap, which ultimately led me back to myself. Today, all those missing pieces have fallen back into place and I feel so alive and authentically happy. I have this beautiful home that is a perfect reflection of me. I mean, imagine a giant rainbow burst through the windows and spread sparkle <laughs> across my house. I have an open-hearted relationship, so genuine, with all three of my teen children, the loving support of my two thriving 80-year-old parents. I am creating meaningful work that fills me with joy and allows me to connect even deeper to my spiritual nature. And it provides me with time freedom to engage in activities that I enjoy. And last, but certainly not least, I have an adorable puppy and sidekick, Jasper, who reminds me daily the importance of living in the moment and sharing unconditional love. But there was a tower that I had to fall from first. Five years ago, I was living in a marriage where I was so concerned about pleasing everyone else in the household that I forgot to tend to myself. I didn't know what I enjoyed versus what my family enjoyed. And I wouldn't even fathom spending selfish time on myself and my own needs. I felt disconnected from who I was and there was this growing tension between my then husband and me in terms of our parenting approach and also my role outside of the home. I felt like my voice was rendered silence and I allowed it. I thought I was doing my duty to my husband and to my family, but by living for the happiness of others, I became a hollow shell of the vibrant younger version of myself. On the eve of the great quarantine of COVID-19, back in March of 2020, my then husband filed for divorce. Our 20 year marriage and lifelong love story was over. I was isolated, so incredibly hurt, lost, shocked, confused, and as per the law of custody, 50% of the time, I found myself in a strange hotel room trying to figure out how on earth am I going to start over. The other 50% of the time, I tried to hold my shit together and parent three teens who were on a no homework extended vacation, but they couldn't go anywhere or see anyone. I fought hard to have full custody of the kids, but the universe and Idaho law knew better. It was during my alone time where I turned to yoga and dancing and walking and looking up to the moon and the stars at night. 
I listened to music that filled my soul, songs that allowed me to laugh or cry or scream. I read the books that helped me understand the grief cycle, how to uncouple. I enrolled myself in mindset classes and started to learn astrology. And then I was introduced to the mystical system of the Magi cards. And key by key, I started to unlock doors to my authentic self. I started to understand my soul and spirit karma, as well as learn about my life's big challenge, which is represented by the Pluto card. So we all have a Pluto card or a life challenge and a cosmic reward card, which is the reward for facing your life's challenge. Pluto is known as the planet of death and transformation, and it is no different in the Magi card science system. So understanding the essence of this one card is a very important key in unlocking your soul code roadmap. For me, my lifetime Pluto card is the nine of hearts, which is commonly referred to as the divorce card. Learning to let go of and love in my case is the key to unlocking my cosmic reward, which is the possessing of spiritual knowledge represented by the seven of clubs card. So each of us has a lifetime Pluto card, which represents the area of growth that you must work through before you can receive the benefits of your cosmic reward card. We also have yearly Pluto cards, which show us where our annual challenge lies. By simply understanding the key to your Pluto cards, you are able to unlock doors to your personal soul growth and healing. Think about your life and the challenges that you're currently facing. Would it be helpful if you had some sort of guide to point you in the right direction? Something that says, look over here. This is where the wound is that needs to be healed. I mean, it takes courage, effort, and guidance to let go of lifelong patterns and develop a new way of thinking. Trust me. I get it. <laughs> Until I discovered the keys to unlock the hidden messages of my soul code roadmap, I was the self-proclaimed president of the square peg round hole society. I used to force my will to create circumstances or relationships that were painful. My body was telling me that I wasn't in a good situation, but I refused to acknowledge that I had anything to do with the creation of that situation. That is, until the pain was too much and something had to shift. With the guidance of the Magi card science system, I have learned how to accept who I am, how to flow with uh, my energy of the relationships I'm in, and identify areas of my own soul growth. There is a soul code roadmap, my magical friend, and it's called the Magi card science system. So, are you ready to unlock your magic?